So I think at this point, everyone knows Fusion Strike is weighable. But when it's in the sleeve like this, I'm actually not sure if it's weighable or not. So that's the point of this video, to get definitive proof. I've got like 60 to 70 packs, so that's nearly two booster boxes. Should be a pretty good sample size and should let us know for sure if these are safe or not. So I'll be weighing them all with this little scale here and I will speed things up. Otherwise, this is going to be like an hour and a half long video. <laughs> Okay, finally done weighing all those. This is way too many packs to open in a single video though, so I'm just going to focus on the lightest few stacks I got over here and the heaviest few stacks I've got up there. Fusion Strike is weighable in that the lightest packs are the ones that are supposed to have the hits in them, so the heavier it is, the less likely it is to have a hit in it, which is why I'm focusing on the heaviest that I have out of everything because if any of those have hits in them, even a single one, that is some strong evidence that sleeved boosters of this set cannot be weighed. Same thing with the light ones. The lighter they are, the more likely they should have a hit. So if a single one of the lightest three stacks I've got ha doesn't have a hit in it, that is also some very strong evidence. I'm just going to ignore all of the middleweight ones. So I'll start off with the heaviest one we got here. This one's heaviest by a pretty wide margin. If this has a hit in it, I would already be convinced that these are not weighable because that is just extraordinarily heavy in comparison to all the other ones. I still want it to be a surprise though, so I won't show off the code card in the front. We will be surprised together if there is a hit in here. Honestly, I am hoping that there is because, I mean, it would be nice to be protected from the set being weighable with these sleeves. So these are still extraordinarily heavy at 31.9 in comparison to the other ones. So probably from this stack all the way down to this stack, there shouldn't be a single hit, which honestly is kind of terrible because like I said, I had 60 to 70 packs and what's that like 10 maybe that are uh, lightweight. And I don't even know if uh, this stack here is considered lightweight because that's quite quite a bit heavier than the lightest ones I've got. I didn't have enough room to fit them all on camera, so I added some weights together, but uh, they are still separated with these little pieces of paper that label them, like uh, three packs down or something will have a different weight on there labeled. So on average, you only get a full art one in every five, maybe four, probably like four and a half, one in every four packs. So. Currently, the evidence is showing that yes, they are still weighable, but at the same time, with only a one in four hit rate, I haven't even opened four packs yet, so on average, I shouldn't have a hit anyway. So definitely need to open some more before I can make any conclusions. I mean, it is pretty late for me to be making a video like this because Fusion Strike was like three sets ago. <laughs> We're at Astral Radiance now. But uh, the reason I'm making it is just because I had people messaging me uh, since I sell these online and they were telling me, hey, these are weighable. Uh, I don't feel comfortable buying from you. And I was like, I wanted to tell them, no, they're sleeved, so they're safe. But then I was thinking, I was like, are they safe? <laughs> and like I said, I couldn't really find any info, like definitive information online. I see people weighing these in YouTube videos and they kind of all pretty much say the same thing. They're like, I mean, it seems like it is, but I'm not sure. So then I look up stuff like on Reddit and people, same thing. It's like some people are saying, no, definitely not. They get lots of upvotes. Everyone agrees with them. Then someone will say, yes, they definitely are. Then they get lots of upvotes and everyone agrees with them. So 
I can't find a definitive answer online. So it's just like, I need to do this myself or I'm never going to have an answer. But then again, I tried the same thing with Astral Radiance and I kind of ended up going away from it being like, I'm almost positive this set is weighable, but I didn't get an actual definite answer even after opening two whole booster boxes of it. However, both that set and uh, Brilliant Stars are significantly harder to figure out when it comes to weighing due to them having uh, the Trainer Gallery cards, which really throw things off because it's like an additional full art. And the full arts are the cards that have different weights. So unlike every other set in Sword and Shield, they do not have the option possibility of having two full arts in one single booster pack. I don't know what's going on with that though because I believe like Cosmic Eclipse or some older set in Sun and Moon, they had something extremely similar to Trainer Galleries. I don't know which set it was, I just know it was in Sun and Moon where the Reverse Hollow could also be a full art as well as you getting a full art in the rare slot as well. And those packs were not weighable. So Pokemon figured it out back then. So why did they suddenly just seem to forget how to do it now? At the moment though, it is looking like this is absolutely still weighable. So I am very sad to see that and like I said in the beginning of the video, I was under the impression that these were not weighable. It looks like I may have been wrong about that. Which means this this set, Brilliant Stars and Astral Radiance are all going to be so difficult to sell. It honestly just makes me not even want to buy these sets ever again because I mean, both as a seller and a buyer, weighable sets, they just, they suck. <laughs> You get scammed as a buyer and as a seller, nobody will trust you and nobody will buy it because they'll be like, oh, I don't know if you weighed it or not. Pokemon really needs to start thinking about its customers for once. <laughs> like they're so big at this point that it just kind of seems like they think, oh, we can get away with anything at this point. So this stack is still at extremely heavy weights. So it makes sense if the sleeve booster didn't mean anything for these all to not have any hits in them. At this point, even if there was one single hit in here, I would just consider it an outlier and say, yeah, this set is still weighable. I would probably need like three or four hits to really start thinking, no, no, this is safe. This is actually safe. But yeah, this is the final heavy stack that I'm gonna open because I'm pretty convinced at this point Hopefully the light packs are different, but at the same time, if I say that, then that would mean that I wouldn't get any hits on either side and I just open like 30 something packs probably with zero full arts. So, I mean, in the grand scheme of things, I hope that I don't get any hits in the light packs, I guess. I guess you could try and look at the bright side and say that at the very least, both Astral Radiance and Brilliant Stars while they are weighable, they're extremely difficult to weigh, and most people probably just give up on it because of that. It seems like there's a pretty big luck factor in when you weigh them. Whereas Fusion Strike, it seems to be extremely easy to weigh, but at the same time, it's a set that nobody really likes very much. So if we have to sacrifice a set, at least it's a set that isn't very popular, I guess but we are into the light packs now. This uh, pack here, and the next few, this stack here, I should say, I could see it not having hits, but these two stacks here should absolutely be all hits because of how light they are. Did I already look at the, I did not look at, I did take out the code card, whoops, <laughs> I forgot. So um, yeah, I could see this one going either way. Hopefully it's hits, just because, I mean, like I said, I kind of want to get something out of opening all these cards. I just got this card in my very last video that I recorded. That's kind of ridiculous, but um, yeah, very first light pack, immediate hit, definitely doesn't look good. So, I mean, it's basically confirmed at this point. 
that the set, even in the sleeves, are weighable, which I guess technically means that even in the sleeves, Astral Radiance and Brilliant Stars are weighable as well, which I honestly thought we were safe because uh, I mentioned before in a different video that uh, I don't even know where you can buy like non-sleeved sets. Every store I've ever been to in person, they all have uh, every single set that's available is in a sleeve like these. They're not in the loose packs. Well, hopefully something positive comes out of this video and I can like get an alternate art Espeon or Mew or even the Gengar I'd take. I mean, I'm not that big of a fan of the artwork on the Gengar, but I am a big fan of how expensive that car is. <laughs> I would happily take it just for the value, and uh, yeah, I would totally sell it because he looks okay, but I just don't really like the Gigantamax version of Gengar. So that's odd because these are actually getting lighter and lighter as it goes down. I put the heaviest one on top. So to not get a hit after getting two in a row, that's pretty strange. I really like the Mew V alternate art, but I've already gotten that one. So it would probably be the one I'd want the least out of all the alternate arts in here. I've also got the uh, Tornadus alternate art and the Genesect. I think that's it for alternate arts in this set that I've gotten, which is... What is that? Did I just list three? I think I just said three. And there's probably like five or six in total that I know of. <sighs> the longer this goes on, the more proof there is that it's weighable. And because of that, I have no idea what I'm going to do with all of these middleweight packs, because that means I just confirmed that not a single one of them has a hit in them. And I've probably got like 40 packs up there in total. <laughs> Gosh. Weighable sets suck. That's just sitting there right there being like, yep, I'm $120 with like $10 in value from bulk. You paid $120 for me, but I'm only worth $10. I guess that's more along the lines of what I meant. I mean, yeah, I guess I'm just going to sell it as bulk because I can't really sell it as anything else. Weighing sets and then selling them online is a very, very quick way to make it so your business has horrible reviews. It's a way you could make a quick buck, but it is not a long-term business strategy because your reviews determine whether or not people will buy from you. And I currently have almost a perfect review score, so I want to keep it that way. So I do not plan on selling weighed sets. It's always great to check whoever you're buying from, make sure they have reviews no matter which website it's on because with Pokemon cards in particular, they are so easy to tamper with and if somebody does tamper with them, that should be reflected in their review score. So hollows do still count as hits. So yeah, I think we just had one miss and then every single other pack had a hit in it. And it looked like the uh, range where it started as far as full arts and hollows was like, was it 21 or 31.67, I think is what it was. So I guess anything under 31.67 for sleeve boosters means it's got a hit in it. How many times have I gotten this card? Jeez. I just can't get anything new from Fusion Strike ever anymore. Oh, and as far as alternate arts, I actually forgot. I did get the Inteleon VMAX alternate art where he's like sitting up on his little water spout thing and uh, sniping people. <laughs> uh, I don't even know if I ever looked up the value of that one just because I really wanted to keep it. I don't specifically like Inteleon. I mean, I do like him, but not more than most Pokemon. It's just, I think the idea of a Pokemon sniping someone is so funny. So I haven't gotten this card, but I have seen my friend pull this exact card. It is an alternate art. It's probably the least valuable alternate art in the entire set though. So it's extraordinarily unlikely that I'm going to get another alternate art with how few packs I have remaining. So it looks like there will be no Espeon or uh, Mew or Gengar. None of the super high tier hitters in this set. 
Most expensive card I ever got in Fusion Strike was like $24. And that's pretty disappointing. Has Pokemon ever made an alternate art Greninja? With how incredibly popular he is, I think that they'd want to. But nothing at all is really coming to mind when I think about Greninja. I mean, I haven't opened like hardly any Sun and Moon or X and Y. So if they're... Well, actually... Didn't Pokemon not start alternate arts until Sun and Moon? So actually he wouldn't even have an alternate art in uh, X and Y because they didn't exist back then. But Sun and Moon, he could totally be in that without me knowing. Uh, yeah, it's been proven. <laughs> if you just came here to know if the set is weighable or not, yes, it is weighable, even in the sleeve boosters. At the very least, Unlike my Astral Radiance booster box weighing, this is an extremely definitive, very, very clear answer. The Astral Radiance one was kind of all over the place, but it is still most more than likely a yes. That one actually wasn't in sleeved boosters, though, so with how difficult it was just in the regular packs, it probably actually is safe in uh, these sleeved boosters if you get Astral Rad Radiance that way. I actually want to count how many uh, full arts and stuff like that that I got at the end of the video because, like I said, this was around 60 to 70. I, I didn't count, but it I know it's somewhere around there. And uh, that's less than two booster boxes, but I feel like the number of full arts has been pretty high. So I want to know like a comparison of what you get in a booster box to the, <laughs> to the sleeve boosters as well. So with 60 packs or 65 packs, I should probably be around on average, if it was a booster box's rates, I should be around like 14 full arts probably. I guess I'm at like 12 maybe, that would be my guess. I mean, I, I keep spoiling them. Like, I see the little bit of glimmer of light on the side. It's so difficult not to. So there is another Inteleon, not the alternate art this time. Uh, from the videos I did see of people weighing sleeve boosters, they did occasionally get hits in the middleweight packs. So there could be like two or three more full arts within, since I got like 40 packs over there, I'm sure there's a few outliers. So I, I'll just add like, I, I guess I'll add three to the total after uh, I finish with, well, this was the last pack. I didn't even notice because my phone camera is kind of blocking my view from this corner over here. So I couldn't even tell that there wasn't another pack without looking to the side like that. Uh, wow, I only ended up with 10 actually. Even if I'm generous and say that these packs up here that are not supposed to have any hits in them have three additional, that's only 13. I probably should have gotten at least 15 on average based on 65-ish packs that I had. So uh, if I ever want to open a lot of a set, I don't think I'll be doing it with sleeve boosters. I'll just stick to booster boxes. Unfortunately, this 100% for me confirms even in the sleeve, Fusion Strike is completely weighable, which sucks. But if you guys want to help me financially recover from getting about 40 packs that are confirmed no hits in them, I'd really appreciate it if you like the video. Subscribe if you're new. I've got links in the description if you want to help me. I've got my Patreon as well as my store and affiliate links. Other than that, though, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.